In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a Fire logo animation using a free Saber plugin in After Effects. So let's jump right in. First, I'll create a new composition. It will be a 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds for the duration. Click OK. Then drag the logo to the timeline. I'll be using the Valorant PNG as the example. Then press S on the keyboard to adjust the scale of the logo if needed. I'll decrease mine so it is nicely in the middle of the composition. Then I'll right click on the logo and select pre-compose, name it logo and make sure move all attributes is checked. Then click OK. Now while the logo comp is highlighted, let's go up to the layer and select auto trace. Now you can see the settings that I'm using to trace the outlines of the logo. Click OK on it. Then press U on the keyboard to see the mask layers that have been created as well as the keyframes for each mask path. We do need the masks, but we don't need the keyframes, so I'm going to drag and select all of them, all the keyframes, press delete to delete them. Then I'm going to open effects and presets window and search for Saber, then add Saber to the logo composition. That's how Saber looks by default. I'm going to head over to the effect controls panel, expand customize core, and set core type to layer masks. As we do that, the Saber is applied to the layer masks that we created earlier. I'm also going to expand your render settings, and set composite settings to transparent just to get the transparent background now i'm going to scroll up expand the presets drop down here we're going to select the burning preset because we're creating the fire look here as you can see i'm going to set core size to two then i'm going to move the time indicator to the start of the timeline i'll uh, create keyframes in the customized core section for the mask evolution and end offset set end offset to zero percent now let's move to 3 seconds. I'm going to set end offset to 100% and mask evolution to negative 180. I'm going to drop the resolution to half to, to do the preview. And this will give us this even stroke animation from both sides as you can see. Now I'm going to press a unit keyboard. Then move to time indicator to 4 seconds. I'm going to create a keyframe for start size. Move 2 seconds forward to 6 seconds, set start size to 0, and at 6 seconds I'm going to create keyframe for start offset, go to 8 seconds, set start offset to 100%, and mask evolution to 0, and if we press U 2 times, right, we should see these keyframes, and that's how they should look, so we have the in animation at the start, and we have mid part, and closer to the end, we have the out animation. Once you've created the animations, you can uh, select the logo composition, go up to edit, and select duplicate or press Ctrl D as a shortcut to duplicate the layer. I'll select the bottom logo layer, right click on it, transform, flip vertical, I'll make it upside down, then I'm going to drag it to the bottom, then press S on the keyboard to bring up its scale and check uniform scaling. And set the second scale value to negative 40. Then I'll bring the bottom logo up and place it like so. So this will be our reflection. Then I'm going to press T, set opacity of it to 50%. Then open effects and presets window, search for fast box blur. Add it to the bottom one. And set blur radius to 20. And this way we've created a nice contrast between the main logo and the reflection. Here we're going to create the floor layer using the fractal noise. First we need to create a solid. So layer, new solid. Let's call this one floor. Then open effects and presets. Search for fractal noise. Add fractal noise to the floor layer. In effect control, set noise type to block. Contrast 200. Complexity to 4. Then make it a 3D layer. If you don't see this column, and click toggle switches on mode until you do and check this box to make a floor 3D layer. Then select it, press R, set X rotation to 90 degrees, then press P, increase the Y position to bring the floor down and cover the reflection layer. So if we move the floor below other layers, so we can better see the reflection as well. So once you place it like this, search for motion tile, and add motion tile to the floor layer. Check mirror edges, then increase the output width and output height until we don't have any gaps in this bottom area of the composition. So keep increasing it. That looks nice. After you've covered the reflection layer entirely, so right click on the floor, 
select pre-compose again let's call this floor move all attributes click ok and hide the visibility of the floor now i'm going to create a new adjustment layer so layer new adjustment layer place this adjustment layer in between the two logo compositions then in effect control search for compound blur add it to the adjustment layer in blur layer we're going to select the floor composition as we do that we can already see some textures on the floor that we've created and you can play around with the maximum blur as you see fit i'll leave it at 20 because i think that looks nice so after you've added the floor we can create a camera to create the zoom effect throughout the scene but first we need to turn the layers into 3d layers so for that we check the box for the both logo layers if for the floor layer we check the continuous rasterize icon this one because the solid layer inside of the floor layer is already a 3d layer so check that and you're good to go so now move the time indicator to the start of the timeline going to layer new camera select 35 millimeter preset to make sure these settings are not checked then click ok press p create keyframe for camera's position and set z position to negative 2000 then go to 8 seconds that is where the animation ends and set position z to negative 1500 and now we can do the preview so that's how our fire logo animation looks at the moment and now we're going to add a couple finalizing touches to make it look even better here after the preview we're going to drag and select all layers right click pre-compose let's call this one final click ok first let's create the background so layer new solid call it bg place it below the final composition and search for gradient ramp in effects and presets add it to the bg layer in effect controls we're going to click swap colors then ramp shape so set it to radial ramp then grab this point of the start of ramp and place it into the left corner like this then i'm going to set start color to a very dark orange like that so it matches the scene nicely click ok now we're going to create an adjustment layer so layer new adjustment layer make sure it is above all layers then open effects and presets window search for curves add it to the adjustment layer where i'm going to create one point here and drag it down then one point here and drag it up so the curve looks like a letter s this is to bring up the contrast of the scene then i'm going to search for unsharp mask add it to the adjustment layer radius i'm going to set it to 10 then i'm going to search for noise add it to the adjustment layer set the amount of noise to six percent and check use color noise and here we can do the preview again and this is the complete fire logo animation created in after effects using a free saber plugin i really hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out